His background, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're right next to a mall or something. <laughs> or a bank. <laughs> Uh, I'm 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 sitting in a messy study, so <laughs> it's just hiding the sins. <laughs> I have my uh, fake stadium behind me. <laughs> That's very cool too. Yeah. Is that is that Boston? Yeah, that was. Uh, this is. Um, the old stadium for the New England Patriots, which was worse than a high school stadium. So it was terrible. It was cement seats and everything. This is, oh. this is way before the Patriots were very good. <laughs> this is when they started to get good and then they created a new stadium. Right. It's terrible. You know, you know, you can see like openings here and here. There's no more opening. It's, the whole thing is like a big oval. But it was terrible. There were high schools that were better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, morning, uh, Ray and, and T. Paul. I guess you're new to the to the SIG. Yeah, I am uh, new to the SIG. This is my first time calling. Excellent. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, I I attended every once in a while. People. Very cool. Welcome, guys. Nice. We'll just wait a few more minutes. People are joining late today. Yeah. When you don't have to drive anywhere and work from home, some people are good. The time changes. <laughs> yeah. I'll put the agenda in the chat. Morning, Sugu. Morning, Quentin. Morning. Um, I was just going to suggest that we wait a minute or two because we've got fairly low attendance today. All right, um, we probably have enough people now. Let's um, let's uh, start off. I've posted the um, the agenda in um, in the chat window. Um, so there's 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 a few things I wanted to go through. Um, first off, um, I've incorporated all of the final changes. Um, on the database sections and um, management interface updates, etc., that um, Jing, Sugu, and, and everybody else had had sort of provided feedback on and contributed with. Um, so the final document for the version two of the landscape 
is um, is now ready. Um, I would. Um, it would be good if uh, we could get sort of a final review. Um, and I'm proposing that um, that we that we close off um, any comments um, for the next uh, SIG call, um, and then I'll raise uh, a service desk request so that we can we can publish this officially. Does that sound okay with everybody? That's good. Sounds great. <clears throat> Just in summary, Alex, did did. Uh... The difference between this and the and the last one we published is it just that we added the database section? Is that right? Um, there is the database section and the database comparison table, and then there are the there are quite a number of changes in the management uh, interfaces section to kind of um, all of that was was sort of refreshed to. To take into consideration some of the new things that happened with CSI and um, object interfaces and that kind of thing. Sounds great. Uh, and just to be clear, that optional text is something that uh, will be used as reference for the other document, right? Not the. That's sort of, correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in fact, yes, that, that, that optional text that we that we um, that you had written, we said we were going to include it in the in the use case um, template, and I've put that into the um, I've, I've I've put the headers into the into the use case template. So um, the next doc I just wanted to talk about was the performance and benchmarking doc. We we made a bit of progress in in February. Um, and there's quite a bit of content there, but we've now stalled. Um, there are actions on myself to um, tidy up uh, the intersection of the document, which, which I'm happy to do over the next week or so. Um, but we do need um, we do need to flesh out the the benchmark example sections, um, which uh, Nick Connolly. Um, and uh, and a couple of the guys from from Percona were going to help out with it, um, but we haven't gotten that yet. So so I'll 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 chase up. But um, in the meantime, if anybody else has um, has any uh, uh, updates for, or you know has any uh, ideas for this, um, I would really appreciate any help that we can that we can get in. I'd, I'd really like to to clean this up and, and have a version that's really for review for the next for the next meeting because it's been outstanding for too long at this stage. Um, and then again similar sort of thing with the use case templates. We had we had a bunch of discussions. It was it, you know we had some sort of fairly contentious discussions as to what we're including in the use case template. Um, we finally agreed to to um, have a use case based on groups of um, categories, um, and we decided to move the uh, markdown into into Google Docs and put in a couple of other sections to cover off um, some of the other comments that we had previously discussed. Um, but we've kind of stalled at this stage, and I think um, um, I think it's it's. Probably a bit of coordination and a bit of um, um, and a bit of work where we can maybe spend. We, we we need two or three people, I guess, to sit down together for an hour or so, um, and flesh out one example, um, and then release this to for for comment and 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 further and further work. So, um, Luis, I guess you'll put your hand up for this. Um, so. <laughs> um, but anybody else who who would like to to help out with this is again Alex. super appreciated. I'll help. <clears throat> it's Aaron. Awesome. Okay, so how about we we set up a call maybe in the next uh, in the next week or so, um, and and just use that to flesh out this example. 
um, you know, in the meantime, if, if you want to give some thoughts to, to what would go into it, that would be useful too. Sounds great. Just realized I was on mute the entire time, but that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Um, and then, and then um, we had a little bit of a surprise. So, so, so Jing, Jing um, um, pings me and, and reminded me about the, um, the survey that we had prepared last year. And it, and it turned out that um, I think following the webinar that we had done, um, we got we got thirty or forty new um, people uh, responding, and we just hadn't checked up on it, unfortunately. So so this kind of fell through the cracks, which is a little embarrassing. But um, the results are now in because we have we have at least fifty four people had um, have responded. Um, so there's there's some meaningful data there. Um, I guess the question is now, how do we how do we process this? Um, it would be very useful, you know, obviously to, to maybe summarize a, a bit of this and present it um, in, in, in maybe the next KubeCon or whenever that is. Um, but also, you know, should we actually formally review this in terms of helping to define any priorities going forward? So I'll open it to the floor for comments. Does the CNCF have a, a blog website? I mean, we could just write a for blog and say, these are the results and just kind of comment on them. Just keep it as simple as possible and just let everybody come in and kind of consume that information. Just an idea. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I, th I think it'd be good to have a presentation uh, to this group at least and uh, perhaps a discussion of the outcomes. Um, yeah, first of all, just to verify that we think think we got sensible responses. Um, oh. I don't know if that makes sense. We've, we've kind of sanitized the results or made sure that they make any amount of sense. Um, so let's do that first and then and then we can perhaps, yeah, I think a blog or something like that, in addition to perhaps KubeCon Prezo would be good. Excellent. That sounds great. Yeah. And you know what? We could probably also ask... Um, Ask uh, Kim if we could do um, a webinar if we prepare any presentations. Oh. That might be useful too. Um, okay, so then moving on, um, we have we have a number of project reviews uh, in progress. Um, the first one is the TIKV. Um, graduation. So, so um, as background, this uh, this project is um, a distributed, sharded, replicated um, uh, key value store, which is used as the um, as the backing store for TIDB, um, and it's currently an incubation project. Um, a, a due diligence doc was was written as part of the um, as part of the uh, um, the PR, um, and I've had um, a brief review of that due diligence doc. Um, but I guess one of us needs to go through that uh, in a bit more detail um, and perhaps you know try out TIKV, um, and we also need to schedule a, a presentation. Um, of the of the project um, as an update because the last presentation that they did was was prior to to incubation. Um, now, Erin, I saw you 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 had volunteered to look at the DD doc, but I did did you actually get around? Did you manage to find some time to do that? No, but I can I have time today, so you can wait till the end of the day. I can look at it. Awesome. All right. If, if you need any help, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to to help out with that as well. Um, and then the next step was going to be, uh, the next project was going to be Harbor. Um, so Harbor has been through a number of the SIGs. Um, and I believe it's with SIG Runtime who's driving it. Um, we, had, um, we had some concerns um, after uh, and SAD had uh, prepared um, a review of the uh, of of Harbor, 
Um, and during the talk meeting, we had some concerns around um, the use of uh, single points. Sorry, the 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 fact that there is a single point of failure with with some Postgres dependencies and things like that, um, which which we wanted to highlight. Um, so I guess there is a final step there um, to move our concerns from the from the issue I think that uh, SAD had created into the due diligence doc. Um, unfortunately, SAD wasn't available to join today. So um, maybe I'll ping him offline. Um, but if not, I don't know, Quinton or myself maybe can move the information in. Because I, I remember Quinton, you, you were you were quite, um, um, you, you had quite strong feelings on this. Uh, yes, I can. If Saad wrote it down, so Saad did most of the um, due diligence. I just sort of chimed in at the end, uh, <laughs> as, is, yeah. as is my uh, penchant. Um, but yes, I think if, if he's written the stuff down, I'm happy to summarize it in the consolidated document or move it there or whatever and, and sort of make sure it's represented correctly. Uh, it would be great if he could. Um, but if, if he's not able to, I, I can do that. All right. All right. So, so we'll, I'll, I'll ping side after this. Um, so next one then is the, is the Rook project. So similarly, um, the, the, this is a project moving from incubation to graduation. Um, uh, Jared's, uh, and team had presented to the SIG um, a couple of weeks back um, and we're going to uh, and we're going to next progress the the, the the move to graduation they, they had completed things like the um, security review and things like that um, however I believe there was an issue where the due diligence doc um, hadn't been completed at the point of incubation, um, which basically means it's, it must have slipped through the crack somehow, which is, which is not great. Um, so, so the challenge now is um, to, to implement a fuller, um, the full due diligence doc for the, for the graduation request. Um, I don't know if any, if Quinton or Aaron has any more background on this that's worth sharing. I don't have any more background on it, Alex. Uh, I just saw a discussion with Jared. Um, so, so just to be clear, it's not about a document, it's about an actual due diligence. It's about act, somebody actually going through the project and and uh, basically checking out that we think it's up, up for grad, you know, that it's of sufficient quality for graduation. Um, and I thought someone had done that. It, did we miss that? I guess that's what I... I, I, so, so I didn't do that and I was not around when, when they, uh, so, so maybe let me just clarify. So they, they went into incubation at some point in the past and I was not around at that time. Uh, I was either not on the TOC or I was, uh, on long vacation or something, but, but certainly I don't recall voting for it or having anything to do with it. And then, um, uh, and I haven't looked into the exactly when that happened, but it was a few years ago, I think, 2008 or something. Um, and Jared pointed out on some other thread or email uh, that that they had not actually had a a proper due diligence at that time. So I don't know. I haven't gone through the archives to find out like how the vote happened or why the vote happened without a due diligence. But it sounds like that's what happened. Um. And so, uh, and all, all of what I'm saying should be verified because it's it's kind of uh, based on emails I think I've read. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, so, so my suggestion, and I think the suggestion of others, is that we, we need to do a due diligence before they graduate, and that hasn't been done yet. Um, right. So remember, this was at KubeCon Austin, and it was... It was just silliness going on. So I'm not surprised that it uh, is kind of messed up. So I'm happy to also take this one on to, 
to get um, a proper document created. It's almost like a, uh, I remember when this was happening in Austin and I remember the meetings yeah. uh, and uh, it was the first project that we were trying to get to CNCF, uh, if I remember correctly. So I don't think we had the process done yet. No, uh, and it was the first storage. It was yeah. Yeah. not coming in a sandbox. That yeah. was the, we didn't have sandbox actually at the time. Yeah. No, it was inception. Yes, exactly. Right, so it was, yeah. yeah. But but no, it, this was not the first CNCF project. We had tons of them before that. No, it was no, the no, first I mean, storage. Like storage. It was the first yeah. storage one. Yeah. So there was a bunch of discussion. The PR for it is insanely long about people yeah. who aren't even associated with this project weighing in, yeah. if you can remember, Quentin. And I don't know if it should be grandfathered. I say, look, it was just done before. It's no, already, I, I so. think we, we don't want to have graduated CNCF projects that have not have a, had a, a, a due diligence done. Mm -hmm. um, so I would suggest, and it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to delay the process, obviously, and it's going to disappoint Jared, and they've been trying very hard to kind of get their thing graduated. And, and mm. it looks to me superficially as if, if it's probably, like, totally fine to graduate it, but, but we do need to actually do the due diligence okay. that has never been done in the past. That, that's my feeling, at least. That's fine. <clears throat> and and, yeah, and uh, I just want to emphasize, it's not just a matter of a doc being missing it's it's a matter of like i'm not sure anybody has from the toc or sig storage have actually gone and looked into the details of that project um, it's one thing to see a presentation it's another thing to actually go and verify that the project is is everything it, it says it is and i have no reservations about the team or jared or anybody else but but we still need to do that <laughs> i can take this on alex i'll um, so, so, um, Quinton, does this entail um, sort of like actually speaking to end users and that kind of due diligence, or is that something that the project provides? Um, we can decide that. Um, what I, I, years and years and years ago, I put together a, a guideline for doing due diligences, um, and and it's got a whole bunch of questions to ask, make sure you have sufficient information to verify this and that and the next thing. And uh, I didn't, you know, I was not explicit about exactly how you should get that information by speaking to users. If you think there's credible information that says that XYZ is using this at so and so scale, then, then it's up to you to decide whether you think that's credible information or not. <clears throat> and if, if you want to speak to I mean, let's face it, even speaking to customers is, does not necessarily provide credible information. So, <laughs> right. um, so use whatever methods you think are necessary to, to ascertain credible information. Right. Okay. Um, so that Rook went through a bunch of reviews on the other SIGs, though. So I guess that's why I'm confused, because I know that they went through security review and another review. I mean, there has to be some, I think there has to be some assets that were missing that were created out of the graduation process. So um, I don't feel like we have nothing to go on, that they haven't gone through some of the process. I just don't think we have all the information consolidated into one place. Now, just to ask, I'm just curious. Are all the projects that are graduated, do they all have due diligence? Yeah. They should have, yeah. Many I mean, it's- The projects that, are, that are got into incubation went through due diligence. Uh, that, that's the problem. Not, not the, the graduation stuff is a very small incremental addition to what's required for incubation. So incubation is the major due diligence that happens in the CNCF. Sandbox is, you know, very lightweight because we want immature and you know twinkle in the eye kind of projects to be able to be hosted in sandbox but due to, but but yeah, uh, yeah. incubation yeah. is, is the, the big one and yes i believe they have all had it except this one and and, and this is another oversight but i'm not aware of any others just wondering from old the when cncf first started like projects like uh, i don't remember like fluentd or linkerd one of those two one of the first few graduated uh, projects 
Did they all went through it also? They went through, sure. When they went into incubation, allegedly. I wasn't on the TOC at the time, yeah. um, but I did speak to uh, Alexis Richardson, who was yeah. there from the beginning, and he yeah. helped me put the, the due diligence guidelines together, and he said, yes, that, that's what they've done for all of them. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Are those due diligence, due diligence report or recorded somewhere on GitHub? Uh, that so, part I'm less sure of. Uh, um, I'm not sure how much of it was written down, but but allegedly the TOC did actually go through the exercise. Uh, we, hmm. can, we can speak to Alexis if you like, and he can give us the details. Um, I, I I believe in the TOC repo. There's there's a directory with all the previous due diligences, honestly. Um, I, 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 I'm sure I saw that the other day. Uh, they all, we also have the recordings, right, of every DOC call? Yeah, but it goes to recording. <laughs> yeah, so you have to coach. know which one. Uh, yeah. So, so I think this one might be slightly, uh, because, so, so just to summarize what Quinton was saying, all of the main due diligence happens at the incubation stage. The graduation stage is kind of like a, a couple more steps. So, for example, at graduation, um, you just have to um, show additional users, more than one user using it. And secondly, you have to do a, a security review, which is which is actually um, paid for by the CNCF. Um, and I think what we're saying here is that we missed the DD at the incubation stage or at the inception stage, as, as it was known then, due to some of the some of the you know previous drama, which we'll not regurgitate again <laughs> um, at, that, uh, at that infamous meeting. Okay, um, so so finally, um, the Pravika project that presented at, uh, at our last uh, meeting, um, I'm gonna follow up briefly with the um, with the project team. I, th I think the Profico project looks um, very interesting. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting um, uh, set of components which sort of lead it to be, to be able to be used as a, um, a message queue and, and, and other event processing um, in many ways. You know, it, it would be comparable to perhaps the NATS project, which is already in the CNCF or, or, or maybe even something like Kafka. So um, I think it's it's worth following up with them, um, but they're they're not 100% decided to 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 um, uh, to donate this to the CNCF at this stage. I think they were they were trying to debate whether to do to do it as part of the CNCF or as part of the um, I believe it's the A I Foundation or something like that. That's that's also a part of the Linux Foundation. Um, so, so we'll I'll, I'll reach out to them just to, just to see what's um, uh, what's what's uh, happening there, um, and then we can either close that off or or move forward depending on what they come back with. I think that covers the that covers the agenda for today. Um, so I just want to quickly summarize. The storage landscape v2, feedback please before next meeting. The benchmarking doc, I really need help with the with the benchmark examples. Tom, I see you're, you you joined the call. I don't know if you can um, help move that along at all. We could, um, uh, I, I wanted to look at it a little bit. Um, who's, uh, who's, who's been contributing to it so far? Um, we had, so there's, there's, uh, there's myself and Paul Sobey from Storage OS, there's, um, Nick Connolly from Deterra, um, there's Vadim, uh, Chachenko, which is, uh, I believe from Percona, um, and there's Saif Alharthi, which, is that Planet Scale, Sugu? Uh, yeah, planet scale. Yeah, um, and uh, and Tyler Dizan, who I think it's Percona as well. 
Yeah, Tyler and Vadim are Perkona. So, you know, my comments in there were really around um, the, the right amplification and different technologies at different layers in the storage stack, how to handle those. Um, I've seen a lot of people benchmark SSDs very poorly um, and don't get to a steady state because it's, it, it can be difficult, especially with large uh, SSD pools. Uh, so um, I can try to put in enumerate some of those pitfalls, but it's it's a it's a big step when you know this is kind of a a, a primer um, and getting into that kind of right amplification is you know going a little little deeper. So I didn't know what kind of audience you wanted to really tailor to. Is it just to get awareness, or did you really want it to be kind of a, a checklist, walkthrough, guidance kind of document? Um, so the idea was was primarily to to um, to kind of inform users, um, and especially in the pitfalls and, and sort of common considerations. It's, it's kind of like common issues that, that people might um, come across. So so certainly, you know, if there's if there's um, a paragraph or two that that you can um, talk about write amplification and SSDs, I, I I believe we actually had the to do on the list to 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 put something like that in there. Um, I think that that would be fantastic. So, so you know, if, if you can just stand it in as a comment or or, um, or, or, or ping me an email or, or I can add you to the doc as well. Yeah, I put in comments in a descriptive way, but they weren't ready for the, you know, the document itself. Um, I could, um, I could review that and actually add it in if you want. Yeah, that, that would be fantastic. Let's see, do I, um, yeah, I have, I guess I, no, looking at it, I think the comments did get added in as a suggestion. Uh, if you look on uh, the, was it page, uh, there under common pitfalls. Oh yeah, I can see it there. Page three, so. Um, all right, I'll, 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 I can add that in as a paragraph. Yeah, then. and just ping me if you want to, if you think uh, um, we need to go more or less detail, we can work through kind of your, where you want to go. Uh, I can work some more. Cool. Um, okay, and then just moving through the agenda very quickly. So the, the next action was on the survey. So I was wondering, um, Jing, do you want to sit down maybe for half an hour? Um, and we can extract a couple of summaries from that so that we can present it to the SIG next time. Yeah, sure. Awesome. All right. And I think we have action items for TIKV on Aaron, um, Harbor on Sand and Quinton, um, Rook on Aaron, and I'll follow up with Praviga. Um, we've, we've gotten through quite a bit in half an hour, but does anybody have any other items they'd like to, to raise? Uh, I just wanted to actually thank you, Alex, for I mean, looking through all this stuff that we've actually achieved is, is pretty impressive. It's a, it's a small, small team um, and most of the work has actually been done by you personally. Uh, I think we should, uh, we should all take the opportunity to pat Pat, you and the rest of the people who've been involved on on backs and things, because uh, hmm. I think this is one of the yeah one one of the more effective six person as far as I've seen, uh, and there's a lot of really valuable stuff that's been happening here. So thank you, everyone. Well, thank you, uh, and, and indeed thanks to all the team. A second, we've, we've uh, done thank you. done some magical stuff together. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so in that case, unless there's anything else, we can we can call it today. Thank you. Thank you, awesome. guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. Bye.